God, jeez. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. <laughs> I'm on fire and I'm being chased by... Demon child. Hello and welcome to the Saga of Labyrinthum. It's been a while, hasn't it? But today we're doing something exciting and dangerous. We're going to the nether. And we're going to be building our first military building right up there. You see that wood? I've already outlined the build. This is going to be fun. Now the location of this build is going to be a little bit difficult to get to, so I need to build some kind of path going up there, but not this time. We want to get this build actually done. Now this is going to add a lot into the backstory of, well, the nether, the relationship between the nether and the overworld. And what exactly is going to be going on, especially here? Actually, I'm curious what biome we're going to be seeing on the other side. And that is going to help me shape the lore of this area at least. I'm going to get to work on the base of this part, which is the tower. I'm going to be using a lot of deep slate, but not a huge amount. I don't want to use a large amount of deep slate on this, partially because it's not the easiest thing to get at the moment. It's pretty deep down, isn't it? Well, it's deep slate. But this is going to be a mix of well, deep slate. I'm going to put in some tough for some uh, variation as well. And the higher we go, the more cobblestone there's going to be. The floor level is going to be right around here. So I'm going to be using a basic cobblestone floor. Nothing really exciting, but oh, that's not cobblestone. No, no, no. We don't want to use that. Uh, the cobblestone is going to be, well, you know, in medieval times, cobblestone was fairly common, right? But on a floor, this is very basic, but I think I'm going to be mixing in a little bit of gravel, but I'll be detailing that later. Before I get any higher, I need to make sure I know where the floors are because I'm going to have three floors in the tower. So I want the floor level to be right about here. And we'll have a kind of a spiral staircase going up. Or, you know what, ladders would be fine. Especially with uh, such a small space like this. And I think that should be up in the corner. Now, what I'm going to be doing here, this floor is going to contain a lot of the storage. As well as uh, a desk, you know, for the, uh, the commander of this post. And then we'll have some beds on the next floor and then on the top we're gonna have of course the lookout area I made a lot of walls and I just realized uh, this is gonna be part of the structure of the building over here but uh, around these corners I'm going to be putting up walls and it's actually not that easy from this point uh, I'm gonna have to do this I'm gonna do this on Two of the corners that's going to go that high i've got wood layer there so i'm going to get this part done so far it's looking good it'll have to have a little bit up on the outside here uh around the windows but i think this is how the basic structure is going to go we just need to make the top part which is going to be all wood i'm going to give something a try here with the corners like that. Well, let's see how this looks. Mm, that's interesting. It does have some uh, style to it, I guess. But uh, I need to build up and we'll see how that's going to go. Alright, now that's beginning to take a bit better shape. Definitely like this a, a little bit better, right? <sighs> It still seems a little plain, but I'll play around with this. Looking better? I think so. It still needs a little something in here. Yeah, you can't go wrong with buttons. And now we're making progress. Got some arches here, and I extended this out a bit to give a bit of uh, depth on the outside. But the roof. Oh, I hate roofs, but gotta do it. I thought it was about time that 
these guys would show up. Guess I'm not going down for a while. Oh well. I hope I can sleep. But um, yeah, the roof is actually <laughs> very annoying to make. Um, but yeah, it looks like they're just going to walk away. Who doesn't love a pillager patrol that just won't go away? Well, I'm getting the shape of the roof here. Uh, this is going to be interesting to do. I think I'm going to put uh, logs across the top. Just for, you know, it looks, it looks sturdy, you know. But uh, yeah, I am definitely, definitely going to have to get something better than this. I only have six arrows as well. I think I'm going to have to go fishing. Corners are fun! Well, it seems to work, so I'm going to get the rest done. And then we've got, actually, these corners to figure out. Um, I think I'm going to do trapdoors. The roof is mostly done. I'm just going to add something here. Something a little decorative on top. Just, you know, for decoration. Just something nice and simple. And... Where is it? Uh, did I use them all up? Looks like I did. Alright. So I'll just place uh, this in the middle. And we've got a couple of fences. So I'll just put that up as well. Like so. Now, will they go away? And how do I get back in? <laughs> uh, oops. And there is my ceiling. Somewhat elaborate, uh, but there is something missing. I want some banners, but unfortunately, I don't think I have enough wool. So I'm going to have to go sheep hunting. These guys are getting on my nerves. And look at my sword. It's low. Um, I do have a shield, yes. Guess what I'm going to do. Uh, there's only three of them, so... This shouldn't be too bad, and I'm I'm dressed in iron, so... I guess I'm okay. Alright, that guy sees me. So let's go, let's go... Can I draw you guys over here? At least none of you have a banner. That's a good thing. Ah, you've got the high ground. Yikes. <laughs> uh, hello? You're just gonna stand there staring at me? Is that all you're gonna do? That's all you're gonna do. Oh, jeez. Oh, you're not going to live. Nope. Ah, <sighs> got him. The pillagers have been active recently. Observations have noted that pillagers have stolen cows from the Savoria village farms and slaughtered a stray chicken for sport. Our archers are out on an expedition, so we're no match for them and their crossbows. What do I see? We got sheep. No looting makes me unhappy. We're getting one each. Ah, so inefficient. Oh, come on. Ah, there goes my sword. Good thing I got another one. You know what I find unsettling about this world? Ah, creepers. Creepers are my nemesis. And, oh, don't go down. Ah, jeez. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. <laughs> I'm on fire and I'm being chased by... Demon child. Die, 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 die. Oh my god. Let's not die out here. <laughs> uh, not what I need. Only 26. Well, as the sun begins to set, well, you can see just the tower. There's more. At least that part's going to be the easier part to build. All right, we're going to do four white banners. Like that, I think. Yeah, this will give a little bit of interest inside here. I think that looks a little bit better then. All right, so next thing. 
Let's build the main part of the building. So, I'm gonna get all of the floor done in here. Now I've got this cobbled together room. This is where I'm going to be placing the nether portal. It's in a very secure room. There's going to be an iron door here so that nothing can get out. The rest of the building is gonna be wood and I think that'll contrast nicely. So, just cut down a bunch of trees and of course, an enderman comes up. There he goes. Just gonna ignore him. Yep. Don't need him bothering me. All right, so I got a bunch more trees. I, uh, God, don't, don't go over there. Go away. I, <laughs> uh, speaking of the nether, which you can find Enderman in, one thing I need to do is get all netherite gear before 1.20 comes out because uh, 1.20 is going to make things more difficult. And that is one of the things I'm going to be doing. I will be going to the nether in this video later on and we'll see exactly what we've got. Hopefully something good. Yeah, it's looking a bit flat, but we're going to make it look pretty on the outside. All the walls are up. I just need to put up the roof now and the basic structure will be complete. Now, this is an odd bug. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> the roof is done and I'm actually surprised that this lined up quite nice like this. So what I have to do now is the interior and the exterior decorations. Well, actually, <laughs> I am missing something here. Uh, yeah, there's bits here and bits there that I'm missing. And at the end too. Yeah, I gotta cover those up. All right, I have a little bit of a window design I'd like to do here. So upside down stairs there and let me grab my dirt and get up there so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, and we will do oak fence, oak fence, oak slab, oak slab, and oak slab. And that's what I want to do for all of them. So I've got this one as well. Hmm, I don't know about that. I actually think simpler might be better. Hmm, I can handle that, actually. I think that's all the windows that are on the tower. Oh, there's one right up there. Just got some more wool so I can make some beds. And from here, I'm liking that. It's higher than everything else. Well, not the mountain, but it's it's in a good location. And it's not really, really tall. It really isn't. It could be taller, but I think uh, because of its location, it already has a very good vantage point. So there's no need for it to be a really tall tower. And uh, I like it like that. All right. The room with the uh, nether portal is nice and secure. I've got some iron bars, iron door. Because you never know. You might have something dangerous coming in. This room is not going to be very pretty. Doesn't need to be. But this is where I want things to look a bit better. So I'm going to decorate this whole thing. And when we're back, we're going to take a tour. This is not what I need right now. Oh god. I'm trying to put the chimney up right now and uh, these guys are coming this way. I'm going inside. I'm going up the tower. They're staring at me. Yep. Although, looks like the captain may have moved on. I just have... Oh. No. No, no. And I'm trapped in here. Are you kidding me? My only exit is down there. Okay, I'm going in here and over here. Maybe they will just leave. It appears I've got a single pillager. No, 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 no. Just one pillager. The other ones seem to have wandered away. Oh, that's not a very good defensive spot. 
Uh, but I think everyone else has left. Oh boy. Maybe I can run for it. I think I will. Let's go. Oh crap. There's Pillager. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I am not in the mood for fighting right now. I just want to get this thing done. Yeah, this should do it. Nice to get a new perspective. I think I'll just go a little bit farther away. And then return. They should despawn. Alright, quick preview. Outside. Inside, I got a bit of a kitchen here. There's some stuff up here. Kitchen is... Yeah, I said kitchen. This is kind of an office and storage room. Up here, this is where the soldiers are sleeping. Just three of them. And of course, we've got to the top. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty spartan in here. And it should be that way. The only thing that's missing now is the nether portal. All right, here we go. We're going to see what's on the other side. And um, I have no clue what it's going to be. I hope it's something good. Because, you know what? I don't want anything that involves piglins. I don't have any gold. I really have no gold. Or do I? So it turns out, I do have some gold boots. Now, what's on the other side of this is actually going to help determine a little bit of the story. Not a whole lot, but it's going to decide a little bit of the story of this building, that's for sure, and this area. So here we go. I hope it's something good. And it is not good. Oh god. Are you kidding me? Uh, look what we got. Oh boy. Well, it looks like we've got... Uh, oh, we got something worth something over there. But the fact that we're down in this hole in the ground... That says something, doesn't it? I want to see what I can see over here. We got magma cubes. Oh, we do have some... Uh, Blackstone, lots of basalt. And I do see piglins over there. I don't think they can get over here though. But I am wearing gold. Well, it seems that we are in a basalt delta. Ah, I've seen enough. Ah, uh, well. That does make things interesting, for the story at least. So, basically, what's going to happen is this is going to be a fairly minor portal. So it's not going to be used so much. This is, to be fair, mostly uh, a lookout tower. Partially because this area keeps on getting terrorized by all of those pillagers. But, um, yeah, this is definitely making things a little bit interesting. It was one of our worst nightmares. Massive blobs of living magma bounded toward us. I was able to get back through the portal in time, but Lieutenant Dalen didn't make it. What a cruel joke it is to send us to a basalt delta. So, let's take a look at the books. So first of all, this is for Captain Unzel Flam. And it is dated 71st of Harvest 2937. As we stepped through the newly opened portal to the netherworld, I felt an overwhelming sense of dread. What would be on the other side? It was one of our worst nightmares. Massive blobs of living magma bounded towards us. I was able to get back through the portal in time, but Lieutenant Dalen didn't make it. What cruel joke is it to send us to a basalt delta? All right. Now, the other one is down here. It's on the desk. Now, this is an official log here, so it doesn't really have a name on it. Uh, it is dated 65th of Renewal, 2948, so that's 11 years later. The pillagers have been active recently. 
Observations have noted that pillagers have stolen cows from the Savoria village farms and slaughtered a stray chicken for sport. Our archers are out on an expedition, so we are no match for them and their crossbows. We would surely die. All right, so that is dated more in current times. The one upstairs is from 11 years ago when this portal was first opened. So it's been here for 11 years. This is turning out to be an interesting story here. So I think what we should do is take a look at this in shaders. So looking at it from below, looking pretty good. I want to take a look from this side. So we've got it all lit up. I wonder what it looks like at night. That would be definitely interesting to see. But the inside should be a little more dimly lit. And it is. Which is pretty much how I expect it. It feels like it should be dimly lit. Now taking a quick look in here. Of course we have the portal itself. Nothing too special in this room. And here's our office slash storage room. And right up here, we've got our tiny barracks. And then the top. Of course, we have to take a look at the view, right? Looking beautiful down there. What do you think of the Sentinel Tower, as I'm calling it? Let me know in the comments below. World downloads are available for gold patrons and channel members. A link is in the description. Check out the playlist on the right in case you missed any of the previous parts. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.